Hi, my name is Karen. I'm here to talk to you about um, what you can do once you get diagnosed with cancer. Now, you've been diagnosed, where do you go, what do you do? Let's think about this. You gotta pull out your toolbox and pull out one of your coping mechanisms. My favorite mechanism is humor. I like to put humor into everything. And plus, you've read all those studies that show you that when you're in a good mood and you're in a good frame of mind, your toolbox will send all those happy squirty juices all over you. And when those happy juices get touching on your cancer cells, they go, I'm melting, I'm melting. And you know, it's a good thing. But I'm gonna give you some examples today of what I did to keep myself in a good humor. The first thing I did two days after I got diagnosed with breast cancer was I made a list of reasons why I was happy to get rid of my boobs. Now, guys, you don't understand this, but bras for us cost $50 or more. Mine on a good day cost me $80, $90. I don't have to pay that anymore. <laughs> now, and now another reason, when I go to the beach, I don't have to dig a hole in the sand so I can lay on my stomach. Think about that. Second thing I did is I worked for a local hospital and ironically I was going to recover after my double mastectomy on the floor that I worked on. So the night before my surgery we had a booby bon voyage party. We had pinned the boobs on the girl, we had gummy candy shaped like boobs, and we had enough food for a small third world country. And we sat around and ate and we talked and we laughed and we ate and we talked and we laughed and quite honestly it made me so much less nervous from my surgery because that was my first surgery ever in my entire life so the third and last thing i did was i you know you go to chemo and you're there for six to eight hours every week and after a while it gets a little boring and after a while some of the meds make you a little jumpy so we were having a jumpy day and I always listen to music. So I got up and I started dancing, dragging my IV pole behind me. Next thing I know, I've got 12 bald-headed women. You got to picture it. 12 baldies in a conga line with our IV poles in different states of dress and undress, walking around the oncology building to music that I was carrying in my hand with a big old, you know, conga line and just laughing and joking and making all kinds of fun. You have to remember that you're still alive. Now, I'm not gonna tell you you're not gonna have a bad day, cause you will. But you have to remember, you don't unpack your bags and stay there for very long. You have to get up the next morning and say it's gonna be a great day because remember, all those squirty juices when you're in a good mood will help melt those cancer cells. Remember, 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 I'm melting, I'm melting. And everything will be okay.